Here's another one for you. If uh, if you're the Lakers, why would you bring in Leandro Ball? You know what? I have no idea. You know, I, would, I might get rid of Lonzo Ball. So forget about bringing in Leandro Ball. I mean, Lonzo Ball's not worth his problems. How's that one for you? Like, look, Lonzo Ball had a nice rookie year. He's Ricky Rubio. He rebounds it. He can shoot it. Uh, I mean, he can pass it. He sees plays early. He's got a feel for unbelievable feel for the game. He can. But I mean, until he gets a middle game, and until he until he can show that he can actually shoot more than thirty percent from the three consistently. He's a really good player, and I know he's only 19 years old. And the other question is, is he more interested in his music than his basketball? But I, like at this age, he should be totally invested in his game. It seems like he's invested in his music game as much as his basketball game. I just can't have his dad involved in another player oh, when, when he just stop. publicly criticized the medical staff with the Lakers. And now you're going to, unless you're doing this to placate dad and Lonzo, you're going to bring in Leangelo just to work him out. Cause I don't even know if Leangelo is an NBA player. I, He's not an NBA player. He, he, look, when I was at Long Beach state, I wouldn't have recruited Leangelo ball. All right. We know we have good players. We have pros. He's a good shooter. He can make shots. He's not an NBA player. I mean, that's that you, you're talking about fiction. He's look, I'm, I'm sure he's a great kid. You know, obviously look, to be in that environment, uh, made a bad decision, no doubt about it. Spent time in Lithuania, which is like, you know, basically being in purgatory. Uh, you know, but like NBA play, do you, these guys are so, he's not an NBA player. And that's just the way it is. He can't beat you off the bounce. He's not guarding anyone. He's got a little toughness to him. He can shoot it. But I mean, that to me, LeVar Ball is toxic. That's just the way it is. Because he has an agenda. Look, I'm all for parents being involved in their kids' lives. I think it's great. But you can't be toxic in the NBA. Name me one. Other, do you know one other parent in the NBA besides Mrs. Durant who gives her son a hug after games? Draymond's mom. Yeah, Draymond's mom, but but, but not the same way. But she's involved. I, she's involved. She's calling out Kevin Durant like ISO ball. Like she's she's on Twitter yeah, calling. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, but but I mean, like. This guy's wiped out. But he's he's Training he's staff. worth it though. You know, Draymond is worth any trouble that goes along with it. Lonzo hasn't proven that he could be. Yeah, and, and he's not the trouble. Able. It's his dad that it, you know it's not worth right. the trouble. But but here's the deal. Here's the deal, Dan. Yeah. You're right. But but they're connected at the hip. Oh, I know. Oh, by the way, you you know anyone has bought any pair of those sneakers? <laughs> I don't. I, how nervous would that make you if you were recruiting? So you're a college coach and you go in and you see dad. Would you continue to recruit no matter how good that kid is after you meet dad? He's got to be better than, than dad's problems. I thought Steve Alford, he was never an issue at UCLA. Now, obviously, they had a magical season. Yeah. Until the end of the season when he took a shot at TJ Leaf and Thomas Welch. Yeah. Uh, which I thought was like, a, you imagine, I mean, that was so awful. Uh, the, the things he said about those two guys, it's ridiculous. Uh, but no, I mean, the kid's got to be better in his problems. And, and you know, it, it, it's weird. You, you, just to me, it's so strange to see an NBA player's parent that involved. And we look, we give him the platform, whether it's yes. you guys or ESPN. Or, uh, and he understands how to use that. And he's made money off it, which is, you know, look, like I don't mind parents that are involved. I do have a problem with mar- people that are mean spirited, and like to me, th- it's not fun in games when you're misogynistic. It's not fun in games when you're talking about someone else's child. It's not fun in games when you're pointing fingers at people's professions, uh, not because of knowledge, but more because you're trying to, you know, empower you, you know, your, yourself and your kid. When you bring other people in the conversation, to me, that's mean spirited. So, like, I have no like being an involved parent. Uh, and he's obviously raised really nice kids. Uh, and like I said, I think Angel made a bad decision, but I'm not sure that's who he is. But what, he always brings other people into the conversation. And, and, and to me, it's like when I was coaching, I, I, when I, I had a parent call me, I'd say, I've talked about, you know, academics, social, anything else, but I can't talk to you about basketball because once basketball comes to the equation, someone else's son comes into conversation and that parent is not there to defend his son for more dan patrick show tune to audience channel 239 on direct tv or download the dan patrick show app